Hello everybody, you're here with Claudio Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in and for watching. So today is an episode, I'm gonna be trying the new Kulfi concealer, which was recommended by one of you subscribers. And we're gonna be trying this Hourglass Ambient Palette. This is a holiday, um, they came out, um, Hourglass came out with three. This is the Ambient Palettes. I usually buy them every year for my mom, not necessarily for me, but this year the three palettes seem amazing. I mean, they really seem worthwhile. So we're gonna see this. I ordered this Elephant, which is kind of the medium of the three, the medium colors of the, re, the, the three and the one with more pinks. Uh, so I thought it would be better for me. It's called Ambient Lighting Edit Unlock. All right, so if you're interested in seeing how I apply this and my review on it, please keep on watching. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. All right. So moving along, let's try first this Kulfi concealer. Now I heard great things because after the subscriber recommended, of course I went researching and seeing. Uh, so it says never settle for anything less than your main match. Um, so as you know, and I have the color Coco Crush. I was really tempted for the lightest colors. This is the second lightest. And the person from Sephora recommended this for my skin color, but it was all online, you know, through chatting. So I think now that I try it, this is very like my skin color. I think I would have preferred the lightest shade, but we'll see if I change it. Um, so if you know, my favorite concealer right now for every day is Kosas. So I'm gonna try this and see how that works. My Kosas is lighter. Maybe I'll do another video where I compare one eye and one eye. Today I didn't wanna do that because my eye is a little sensitive. So I'm just apply a little bit on this side and then, you know, you'll see how it looks, but that's what I was thinking. Um, the subscriber that recommended me this said, that it was sort of in between Kosas and my other beloved Pat McGrath Labs. Now, the reason I have those two concealers is because Kosas is for every day, uh, and then the Pat McGrath is for when I'm really want coverage and made up. So she said this was in the middle of the road, and of course it's clean beauty, doesn't crease, doesn't get into your lines. Um, so let's try it out. Uh, without further ado, this is Coco Crush. Okay, I did try it already. Not first impressions. I kind of sound like I did or done. Now I just only tried it once, and um, and that's why I know it's very my skin color. Which part of me likes that idea because you know how there's some YouTubers that just love, love, love the concealer correct from Dior backstage. Um, they just said, you know, and they like it because they usually use it for concealer and then correction. So instead of a foundation, uh, to me, that one does not work at all like that is drying. And so I don't know why, because I'm a big time Dior girl, but that one just does not work. Uh, I gave it to my sister. Oh my God. It looks amazing on her. So, you know, why? I don't know. Um, so we'll see this one and, um, and I like the skin color for that purpose, but if it was just for concealer, I think I would have gone for a lighter shade. All right. So let me, it's a good size. I like it smaller, uh, than the Kosas. I like it. So there's the shade. See, it is the right shade, but I think it's too, too darker. The, the, Good news is it has a little peach in it that is not my skin, and that would help with the purple. Now, what I have on my face already, I don't know if you saw my previous uh, video, is I apply for the new Summer Friday skin tint, which I really liked. So uh, I haven't compared it to my Herborian, which is really what I think it will compete with. So I have to do that side at side. Of course, I'll show you in another video. And that will let me know if this is my favorite or Airborian is still one of my favorite teens, light teens for every day. Now, this one does not have SPF, but 
Um, so in that sense, Arborian might be a better choice still, but uh, we'll try it half and half. But that's what I have on my face. So there you go. It looks beautiful. That's without. And that's with. I mean, what do you guys think? Now let's apply a little bit in here to cover the red. Like I said, kind of um, conceal correct. I think this will be perfect for that. I mean, look at that. But I can't help that mention it again. I wish I had the lighter shade. You know, sometimes you have to trust you what you think is best for you online um, when you order because you kind of know yourself already and every time they try to color match me even with the machine or they always uh, think I'm darker perhaps they want the darker shade will cover more or perhaps is it because um, usually people like to be tanner in a way uh, but for me, I'm the opposite. I like, if he has a little hint of cooler than my skin, I feel it brightens me up, it uplifts, I just, I just like it better. And maybe that's where the discrepancy comes about. All right, well, there it goes in half of my face and not on this half. Gorgeous. It really makes a big difference, I think. All right now that we have that so do i recommend this yes definitely i appreciate um the subscriber that recommended to me and see i have a little it's not a pimple anymore but something weird there i have a lot of weird things lately um so let me just do this side and we'll try the hourglass uh so before i say this will be my new favorite I need to do the comparison with my COSA side to side, and we will be doing that, not today, but soon. <laughs> you know that I have right now a lot in my plate, so I can't say when, but soon. Hopefully within this week, because this week is still a little, a little not over the type, but pretty soon I will be getting very busy with the move and everything else. I have on my plate all right and by the way I'm getting ready because I, I need to run some errands so this is my makeup for the day <laughs> okay so now we're gonna go with this beautiful thing I do have their dual brush from hourglass I don't use this brush that much my mom loved it but my mom is rough with her makeups like mine will last like this forever or the most used brushes that still look the same. My mom's brush, she puts them in a makeup bag. This will look like destroyed, like it went into a fight. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the Elephant, the medium um, palette. I don't know. There's been many reviews already online. I'm a little late to the game, but still, this is my review. And the reason I ordered this one was because it has the bronzer and it had two shades of blush and then of course it has the highlighter I guess it will be this one and then this is kind of a setting powder that's it say yeah it says finishing powder dim light finishing powder soft light and metallic strobe powder beaming strobe light so that's number three one two three all right so this is the highlighter it's a little too golden for me. It is what I thought, just because it looks, the texture looks a little different. You see that? So I will be swatching this in a little bit, but let's apply first. So I'm gonna use this for the bronzing. Bronzing contour. Yeah, I must say, Again, my mom likes this brush and my mom loves this palette. To me, they're a little, I don't know, they're hard to use. Why? I don't know. Yeah, I have, a, I have this love-hate relationship with these amber palettes. Well, there you go. It is 
is useful. It's a face palette. Everything in one. Right? I have a cat behind me. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my God, she's on my case. Yes, I know, I know. But we're not going to pay attention until I'm done with the video. All right. Yes, I know. You can be on the video too. All right. So... I don't know, perhaps you want to see the cat. <laughs> perhaps it will be a better scene. Oh, she wants to jump in the front. She, but I don't want her in the desk. Can you imagine with all the makeup I have in front of me? And why do I have so much makeup? Because I bought a lot of makeup and I want to do a haul with all of this and then I have it in line for what I will be showing you. And then I put it away. All right. Well, so far the bronzer looks beautiful and natural. Very, very natural and very beautiful. And with that tint, I mean, it looks very, very nice. Now, if you want to use the other side, I use that to buffing, but I guess you can put a little bit more of the bronzing if you want it a little darker. I'm very tempted to put it on the eyes, but I'm not going to do that on this eye. Mm -mm. All right, so that's that. Then I'm going to apply this pink on this side and the other one on the other side. I see this one a little more plum, this one a little more pink coral. So this is the pink coral. Maybe too far back has some tint. Yeah, it does have color. I thought perhaps it would have been a little bit more lighter, but it's pretty. All right, let's use the other kind of plum sort of color over here. I like this one a lot, so I'm being very careful in case this one is it does have plenty of color. I don't know which one you like better. So that's the plumbing. And this is the pink coral. They look very similar, but this one has just a little bit more of that fuchsia. You see that? And this one is a little more, I call it spring kind of. You see that? I'll swatch them in a little bit. So this one more plum and this one, I wouldn't say no peach, but it's more what? Um, what do you call that? Like, what, uh, well, pink. I mean, I call it coral, but it's not going to that. Just a tiny little bit, perhaps. All right, let me apply more. See if you can really see the color. And then the other, the pink. And I'm using one side and one side so I don't mix the colors. There you go. So this is the one in the middle. And this is the one on the side, the plummy. I'm really leaning nowadays with that kind of color. I actually order one of the Dior blushes, which I'll be showcasing, uh, the poison one. I'll be showcasing in another video. Perhaps I can compare it a little bit. But um, let's swatch this three that I have tried before I go with the with the highlighter and the you see what do you call that? I mean, is that orangey, uh, peachy? And it's not the usual peachy, but yeah. And this is the more plummy berry. And this is the bronzer. And since we're at it, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bring it to the front in a little bit. I will show you the cat if she's still here. Yeah, she's half of my um, chair behind me. And I am, all right, I 
Let's see if you can see that. Well, you barely can see that color, this one. You see, it's a little more color than this. This is more yellow. And then, of course, the probing highlight. You see that? This was the concealer, so forgive that. It's this color, this color, and this color. Yeah, those will be very hard to, to see, right? But let's see how they apply. I'm not very big for powders, and I'm not very big for these powders, but I know many people do use it. I mean, this one is a little darker, and it has that kind of probably for medium skin tones. And this one is definitely more up my alley because it has the yellowish. And then of course this will be the highlighter. So let me apply the highlighter first. It's gonna darker. There you go. Yeah, you can see it, definitely. You know, golden. Yeah, guys, I mean, uh, I wish I can be a little more cheerful about this. Hold on, before I put it on this side, let me just apply a little more here. Let me clean the brush and let me apply just the powder on the other side. So, I guess, I will use the powder to, to kind of blur the, the blush a little bit. See, that will look much nicer. But I'm not very big on this ones. So if you love Hourglass, now let me equalize it. I'm gonna put the highlight here. Now, to be fair, to be fair, well, I'm trying to be fair, but <laughs> Let me just put both colors on my cheeks. To be fair, this was supposed to be for medium skin color, right? I said that there's the lightest for lighter, and this is the medium, and then there's one for deeper skin. The one for deeper skin has more orange, more fall colors, which I really like. This one had a lot more pink colors, which is my preference and why I ordered this one. But I see the powders and I see the highlighter. Those are more for medium, not for my skin color. They work, but they're not my favorite. And then they had the lightest one, which has more red tones in it. And of course, brighter, lighter powders and highlighter. So that will be more my alley. I'm not very big on red uh, blushes. That's why I didn't order that one. I ordered more this one for this too. But now that I'm trying it, Again, I will recommend this one, and it's a beloved, everybody loves about it, for medium skin or for a little golden tone to your skin. I don't know if you wanna call it golden or more olive into your skin, you know, that Italian background, Mediterranean background, then I think this palette will really look nice on you. If you have a tiny little bit of cool tone to your skin like me it doesn't look bad but I just yeah I think that's gonna be my review I mean hourglass you can't go wrong with hourglass every year they come with ambient palette and and, and very beloved products but for some reason I'm not in love with them they work well yes so I'm like, oh my God, yes. Would I pull this out often? Probably not. And I do own other palettes. Uh, most I give to my mom, but I have kept some. Like, uh, and I pull them mm, once in a while. And mostly because I want the tone of blush that is in there that I don't owe it in any other. Or because I just want a little bit of the tone somewhere. That's where I pull it out. So again, not, but I do pull it out. So I mean, so does that mean yes or does that mean no? <laughs> I 
listen, I'm very happy to own all the makeup I do. That's why I buy it. <laughs> you know, my husband was like, why do you keep buying products that you never use? I'm like, I do use them like once in a lifetime, but I do pull them out <laughs> one by one. <laughs> I do have much. All right, so that's about it. Let's see if I apply. I'm going to apply this Ilia um, Wonder Lost Balmy Tint. This one has a lot of plum in it. Let me see. Yeah, it goes more with that. Perhaps a little more red. Hmm. I just wanted to see if it came all together. Oh, the cat just left. There she is. Good. That's a better place. Okay. She was warming my back. I was enjoying that. But she was not. <laughs> she wanted to be in my lap. All right. Why am I rambling? Because. All right. Well, I am going to go out like this. So it's not bad or terrible. That's why I was rambling. I'm like, do I need to do something else before I leave? And I'm like, no, this, this will be, of course, I'm going to not put mascara because of my eye the way it is, but just like this. It looks nice. Healthy. Yeah. All right. Well, tell me what you think. Do you like it, not like it? I mean, you've been seeing me trying new blushes lately. You saw me trying the House Loves with a little bit of sparkles. I don't know, how does it compare to that? Or which one you like best? I know, I just bought this Dior blush I told you about, this um, 962 Poison Matte. I love this one. It's a little more on the plum and I will be trying it soon. But so far, what do you guys think? Do you like it, not like it? Do you have it? Do you own it? Any suggestions? Which I know you will and have many. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell in the right-hand corner. And I will see you next time. Bye.